My name is Andy Banks. I work for a company called DHI Water and Environment. We specialize in building numerical simulations of what we call water environments. This is the ocean, this is rivers, estuaries, mines, primarily from a decision support capacity. We have considerable domain expertise in plume monitoring. The pilot collector vehicle is scooping a good bit of sediment up off the seabed and it's generating a plume. From a technical standpoint, we believe that a lot of these principles that we use to monitor and quantify the fate and transport of suspended sediment can be applied here in the deep sea. Our main purpose has been to supply the uh, data collection devices and sensors for DHI so that they can understand and plan where they need to put the sensors so they can capture the data from the collector vehicle. We put water quality data sensors, so CTDs, they've got transmissometers, they've got turbidity sensors, they have DO sensors, ADCPs, that's for collecting the currents, getting the current data. Uh, we've got some camera landers on the seafloor, got some other mid-water moorings uh, that we can talk to, we can query those real-time with modems, conductivity, temperature, depth, salinity, all those types of oceanographic water quality sensors. So at the present moment, we have an array of fixed assets that are sitting at the, in the seafloor. These are instruments that measure the amount of suspended sediment in the water using acoustic and optical backscatter. But we'll also have similar instrumentation sitting on um, an ROV and some AUVs that, that fly around and try to reconstruct a three-dimensional picture of the plume. After the project, we'll take all of this information that's been collected and integrate them to build a numerical model that describes the transport of suspended sediment and ultimately its fate, in other words, where it lands and how deep it settles. So more broadly, that feeds into the environmental impact assessment that TMC is, is putting together for the project. The interesting part about this project to me is that we're working with high-tech machines, uh, working on a complex problem at, at 4,200 meters depth. There's, you know, it's a serious technical and logistical challenge. Try to take a picture of this, you know, three-dimensional complex plume, uh, basically at a distance. You're trying to do something that very few, if anybody, has ever done before. It's quite exciting.